guys? It's Christiana Catherine and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my god, I am so freaking excited to be back. Finally, I'm back in Charleston. I would say my physical health is a lot better if I wasn't have passed out last night, which is why I'm filming this tonight and not last night like I was planning on it. But my mental health is good. My physical health is kind of pretty good. I'm starting on a new medication tomorrow on top of everything else. But I haven't felt this good since like fifth grade of elementary school. Okay, so for today's video, since it's spooky season, we are going to film a Halloween look. And I am so excited because last night I was practicing the look that I want to film tonight and it came out so freaking well. I, what I am most excited about this video is that everything comes from Walmart. All together, I probably spent 35 to $40 on everything in this look. So that's pretty freaking cheap whenever it comes to special effects makeup because I've been looking at special effects makeup and it ain't very cheap. I can tell you that. So I was super excited whenever everything performed so well and the look came out so great and let's just hope and pray that it comes out the same tonight. So if you want to see how I get this Halloween look inspired, oh I forgot this is inspired by Mikey in Glam and Gore. Oh I love her. That was not a cute noise. I have just fallen in love with Mikey. She, I swear to you, is the cutest human being, but she is so talented. So go check out Glam and Gore with Mikey to learn a whole heck of a lot more about special effects makeup because it's not my expertise, but I have really fallen in love with it since 24 hours ago, and you'll probably see a lot more of it on my channel. So I'm gonna finally stop, and we're gonna move in to the makeup look. So. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with this liquid latex that I got in the Halloween section for, it says $9.84, but I feel like I actually paid less than this because a lot of this Halloween makeup had like prices on it, but they were even cheaper at Walmart. So, oh, and if you hear my dogs outside, I'm sorry. So I'm going to start with this liquid latex. Last night I didn't pour it out the bottle and it was kind of a pain. So I'm going to pour... Just a little bit of this. I'd rather like pour too little than too much and waste it into like a little cup. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a Q-tip and I'm gonna grab this black face paint that was only 98 cents. 98 cents. When I saw how well this worked last night, I went today and I bought all the colors that they had so I could do other looks for future videos. So keep an eye out. I'm just gonna put a little bit and first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of like map it out on my face because once we get into it, you'll see that it's a lot easier to do it without the liquid latex and like the cotton and different things like that. So I'm going to start it like right about there. And you can do this with a makeup brush if you want. It's just, it works with a Q-tip also. And then you don't have to worry about cleaning because I hate clean makeup brushes. Start right there. Go around. And this doesn't have to be perfect. It's just kind of like filling it in for right now because like I said, it kind of is a pain because you don't want black everywhere in the future look and you'll see in a little bit why this is a good first step. This is a look. <laughs> okay. Okay. So once you get that first layer on, I'm going to close this up, but I'll probably dip back this into it a little bit later so that we make it look really icky and gooey and yummy. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a sponge. I got these at Walmart for like a dollar. Obviously, we all know these stupid little sponges. I don't want to like use a beauty blender because I this is one that I used last night and I just cut it in half. Um, that's why it's short so like this part once you use the liquid latex and it dries it's just like it's hard and it's unusable that's why i suggest buying the disposable ones and not like a morphe one or real techniques or a beauty blender or whatever in the hell you use so i'm gonna dip into the liquid latex just a little bit and this is just going to be like the first little layer just to kind of do a layout and i only put so much and i'm just going to tap it right on top This is kind of a funny part. 
Um, so in order to get the illusion of like the skin, you're actually are going to use like cotton. So you can get like stuffing that you put in pillows or if you like craft or whatever. Um, or Well, I have some of that in my closet, but it's one of my Christmas decorations. I don't really feel like getting all this down. So my Doberman, Johnny Cash, loves to tear up his toys. <laughs> and this is stuffing out of one of his toys. Um, probably gross. Um, but we don't care on this channel. So what I'm going to do is I kind of want to lay it across here before I start pulling it down. So I grab more liquid latex on my sponge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it like right here and I'm just going to cake it like you're probably going to have to hold it for a minute or two. And that kind of gives that like gross skin type feel. And then I just kind of like twist this part so that we get it thinner and just you can kind of put some of the liquid latex on it like this right here. Sorry, I'm looking into my viewfinder to make sure I'm not like missing it. And put it like right there. I probably should have waited for this to dry. Um, so if you're watching this, wait for your black paint to dry some. That was my bad. I have a bit right here. <laughs> It's going to feel a little weird, but I promise it's really not that bad. And it's worth it in the end. TBH. Actually, I'm going to get a new sponge. Oh, and um, other FYI is this shit gets everywhere, but it just peels off like you're peeling um, sunburn. Love that. And then I'm just going to take this and kind of... Twist it like a mustache. My uncle does that with his mustache. Shout out to you, Uncle Jim. Even though I know you will never see this video. Oh, goody much. <laughs> She's kind of a pain in the ass. I'm gonna blend it into your skin some, but we're gonna go over all of this with foundation, so don't worry about the color being off. Um, because it will match your skin later. You can see this is how we get that look. And I kind of like to take this stuff and like put it all the way down. Because even if you get the illusion that it's your mouth is bigger, like that's totally fine because that's what I do. So now what I want to do is I want to connect these to the bottom right here to close it off. So you just take more gooky stuff or fuzz and just start connecting. Like I said, it's gonna look a little weird right now, but I promise you, we make it look creepy. It's the blood, in my opinion, that really gives it like the gross effect. The black is just kind of to deepen it underneath, and once we get the blood, it makes it look like ooey gooey, but the black just kind of makes it look like hollow, sort of. And you can make these kind of long, and what I'm gonna do in just a minute when this dries more is I kind of pull this part up. So if you're going out, make sure to keep it kind of high. Last night I made it kind of low, so if I was trying to like, I was out at a Halloween party and you're going to have to drink through a straw with this look, but just like make sure you can get it like to your lips. So my air just kicked on, which is really great because my vent is right here. Just kind of let this dry for a few minutes. It dries pretty quickly, but what we're about to do is we're about to cut into this and kind of pull it off. So you want it completely dried. Now that that's off a little bit, I have like these unicorn brushes so it comes to a tip, but you can just get like a pin or something. And you just kind of pull this off of your face and you'll feel it. You'll understand once you put this on, like right now you're like, what in the hell? But once you like get this on, like you'll feel, it's literally like your skin. So like I can poke through this. <laughs> We're gonna pull that off a little bit more up here. 
so that it looks more 3D looking. That's why I kind of put it on a little thick right here in the lips. Not a lot. You're not taking it off. You're just kind of adding that space so we can put some blood in there so it looks more gore-ish. And you will understand, like I said, in a little while. Now what we're going to do is we are going to put foundation on top of it. So I just get, this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Um, it's just the first one that I had right here. So whatever your color is, whatever brand you like, this really doesn't matter. It's just getting this to match your skin color. One thing that I didn't really realize was there's a difference between scab blood and just like normal vampire blood. Um, I knew there was a difference, but you don't understand it until you play with it yourself. This is like jelly. <laughs> like you can get strawberry jelly and do the same thing. This is like food coloring consistency. These are at least the scab blood came in this torn hand tattoo thing. These are like stickers or like a tattoo to where you do it, but it comes with this scab blood. You can't buy this individually, which was a pain, but still it's only like $2. So it's totally fine. It's really not that expensive. So um, I knew I needed to get scab blood and not just normal blood. And trust me, that is like the main thing that I'm going to tell you. You absolutely need scab blood to get this sort of look. So like I said, it comes in these things. Just trash this because we don't need that. So what I am going to do is I am going to bring this out. So if you can see, it is like straight up jelly. <laughs> um, I'll start putting this on my lips underneath. And it's okay, you don't have to be perfect because if you get it on this, which is what we're going to do, we're going to do it anyway. So you don't have to worry about being completely perfect. I just really liked it whenever my lips had it because it makes it more like liquidy looking. And then I just kind of bring it down. This is where you can just kind of have fun um, because this is what makes it look really gross and creepy. And then here is where I bring in the vampire blood. And this is like, like liquid, <laughs> like straight up drippy drippy. Fun and fresh, yeah. Great, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to my eyes. So this was one of the big things. Um, what I pretty much used was completely the Dark Magic palette, and I keep getting blood all over it, which is cute. Um, what I like to do is the only thing that I go into on the um, Armed and Gorgeous is just the inner corner highlight. So if you have a different palette, just use that. You can use her um, original palette. You can use these two shades right here. This palette has been well loved, but you can use these two shades. First thing that I am going to do is I am going to go into the shade Dip in, dip in, dip in. And I am going to use this as my transition shade. I actually don't use this a ton because we're actually going to go in with the green to show up more as a transition shade. This is just kind of like, I almost use this as almost a template for like my transition shade, if that makes sense. So this is like just a base for my transition shade. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with potion and I actually get like a good bit on my brush. Um, I don't really worry about fallout with these and even though once again this is almost like a spooky look so if you want it to be more glam obviously like maybe put a little bit of translucent powder to catch the fallout if there's any but I didn't really mind if some got down to make it look kind of sickly so you know with this it's not very precise but if you want this to be like an actual look which I actually use this as an actual look just be a little bit more 
careful and precise if you want. So I'm just going to go into the same spot that I went in with my transition shade. And I'm just going to buff that out. So once Potion is pretty much all blended out, next thing that we're going to do is I take this Real Techniques brush. God, I bought these. So this was my first set of like makeup brushes. I asked my mom, I was like, mom, like I really want to get like good makeup brushes. And I got this and like a set of five and I thought I was the shit. So I'm going to go into Busted and Inside Job, which are these two blue and green shades. Busted's more blue, Inside Job's a little bit more green, but it's darker and I want that deepness. Um, and so I just take, it's a flat brush. And I just take this, and one way to avoid fallout is don't tap at first. I like hold it down and like brush back and forth to get that pigment on the inside. And I swear to God, my dogs. The reason why I like to do this with this brush is because it's dense enough to really pack on that pigment. But it's also fluffy enough to where I can um, blend it into the crease. So you have that seamless blend. It's not just like a flat synthetic brush that packs on color really well but you have to get another brush to blend it. And next I'm gonna go into Temptress, which is the black. Yes, we are dipping in straight black. I tap off a little bit of this excess because black can be a little scary, but um, in this kind of look, we don't care. Uh, so I'm going to tap that on the lid just to darken up that blue to where it's almost black, but it's just still like really navy blue. And I almost like, put it completely black like just at the bottom part of my lid right here. So I just take all three of those colors, run it underneath once again. You don't absolutely have to be perfect with this look because we're going for spooky spooky. Uh, so this one whenever I go into Armed and Gorgeous, I grab VIP. I, I keep the plastic things in my palettes. I think I'm the only one, but um, anyway. I just dip into VIP with this pencil brush and I'm just going to put this in this inner corner. So I actually ordered this BH Cosmetics um, highlighting palette. They were running this deal to where everything was like 30 or 40% off. I got, you know, I was like, ooh, let me get this. Cause I love colored highlights. Like I'm not just gold and silver. Like I live, bitch, live for a pink highlight. Like Monster by ColourPop, ooh, honey, it's like, cream base but you put it on with a brush like I'm just, i hope that focuses um she's loved oh i love this and so i saw this palette and i was pretty shook at the freaking pan size in the mirror of these highlights like just a reference they're almost the size of the color pop super sharp um shadows like Here's my finger. Here's my face, y'all. These are huge and I haven't used it yet and it looks like it because apparently I stuck my brush. I just swatched them. So I'm really excited to use this. I don't think I've seen people use this. There's one going around, but I don't think it was this one. So we're gonna see. Since we kind of did blue on the eyes, I'm gonna go in with this blue one because we're just gonna go there because it's Halloween. You know what, I'm mixing it with laser, this green one. Okay. And this is a Morphe um, M510 brush. This is the only Morphe brush I have in my collection because I don't really know why. Okay, here we go. Maybe the wrong side of the brush. Is that anything? Um, 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 <laughs> um, do you see this? Janice, cause oh 
my god. Woo. This is insane. Like, I mean, that's a bit much. I mean, that's a straight up blue streak on my cheek and I'll blend that, but um oh. um Um, winner, winner, chicken freaking dinner right here. Whew. All right, I need, oh, I need a second to like, oh, okay. Um, so I don't normally wear lashes like ever, um, but I really wanted to get some for this look. So I do have some Morphe lashes. I have some Too Faced lashes. I don't have any lily lashes because, honey, we are on a non-paid internship budget. Um, so, I got these, and I need to find the damn box. Here it is. Sorry, I'm a mess. Welcome to my channel. The Eyelore Vegas Nay Grand Glamour. Alright, guys, that's the final look. Um... You know, I'm not out of this. I thought it wasn't as good as it was last night. There's a couple things that um, I did better last night than I did tonight, but you know what? I'm not out of it. Just ignore this. Like, I obviously have been talking for like the past hour. I probably spent $30 total on everything. The liquid latex was only $10. Total went on these, only 98 cents. These sponges were only a dollar. Um, the blood, this was only $2, this was only like $1.50, um, Q-tips, you probably already have at home, the sponges, like I said, um, obviously you're going to need eyeshadow palettes to do the eyes like this, or you can just use more Halloween makeup around the eyes, just please make sure it's eye safe, like, when I was a kid I put stuff around my eye, or I put glow stick liquid around my eyes thinking it would be cool and I'd have glowy eyes. No, the shit got in my eyes and I had to go home because they burned so bad. So make sure the Halloween makeup is eye safe before you put it around your eyes. Um, I used the Dark Magic palette. So, and these palettes I think are only like 10 or $15 a piece, which is like really freaking good for the quality of these eyeshadows. Mascara. I didn't even put eyeliner on. Um, oh, the fuzz. Um, that you can get in the craft section or you can just steal it out of your sister stuffed animal or something else. Um, yeah, and I really think that's it guys. I had so much fun making this video. I had so much fun doing this look. It's so easy, which is what I love even more. Like me, this is my first ever special effects makeup and I could do this. So if I can do this, you can do this. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post. I just finished out like my first semester back in school in a year, so I was just really trying to focus on doing that. Um, now that I'm back in the swing of things, like I expect to fully uh, upload during school and everything else. Uh, my social medias are Instagram, it's Christina underscore, underscore Catherine. Um, Twitter is C. Catherine Kelly. I don't really have Facebook or anything else. Instagram is really where it's at. I don't have the trash app. Snapchat, so don't even try to look for me on there. I will never be on there. That's the end of that. But thank you again so much. I love you guys. Thank you for dealing with me, the total mess, and everything else about me. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. I love you. I love you. I love you. Like, I really like these. What is your name? Hallelujah. I won't remember that video of that girl and her boyfriend in the park. And that girl looks like a total crackhead. And she's like, and that guy's like, who the hell am I with? Who am I with? That's what you can do to your boyfriend. Except for, it'll be totally acceptable in this, like, makeup. Just... Okay, so we're gonna go. I probably look awful at this view. It's like 10 o'clock at night, and we're about to go see how my dogs react.
going to turn this. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, my lens is gross. Um, hello, can we focus? There we go. I'm gonna go inside. It's a little creepy, and I say that looking like this. Let's try the front. Cause this is turning out to be a total freaking failure. Yes! <sighs> Welcome to my house. This is my horse. JK, I don't have a horse. Thanks, Dad. Johnny Cash! Jack! Y'all, I really think somebody stole my dogs. <laughs> like, when I stop filming and I'm searching for them, they d oh, I hear one. I hear. Yeah, you see what they did? Fluff. Johnny Cash! <laughs> oh, God. Hey! What does mama look like? What does mama look like? Uh. Well, that didn't face her. Cash! Hey! Hey! Look at me! Look at mama! Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, he still loves me. Look at Johnny Cash! Hey, he's getting so big! See, boy, you're a year old! You're a year old! Alright, go back outside. Come on, go back outside. Um, my other dog, I don't know where Jack is. Where's Jack, Bubs? Jack! Here he comes. Here comes the oaf. There he is! Jack! Nope, nope, nope. Jack, look at me! Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Okay, 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 this went bad really quick.